Hi guys, my name is Fad Daud and one thing that is overlooked by a lot of investors, a lot of buyers and people who are generally looking to buy in the market and you know more power to them but an experienced agent makes a big difference. They can actually help you make money regardless of where the market is. Now, to know how to make money even in a market where the prices are going down, look at one of my other videos, especially the one where I've talked about the three types of realities in the Dubai real estate market in 2019. But let me bring it to you right now, okay? For instance, there was this one, case where I helped one of my buyers save 700,000 dirhams that roughly translates to about $200,000 on a particular villa uh, property that they were purchasing for themselves. Now, you might think about, hey, maybe it was overpriced, maybe that was this, maybe that. You'd be even surprised more that I helped them save this money when they were buying directly from the developer, which is generally very hard to negotiate because Developers generally, especially the larger tier one and tier two developers have fixed prices, but I helped them save the because here was a client of mine who was going to buy a villa to live in for themselves and they weren't going to run away from this purchase decision regardless of where the market goes in the next two to five years. They were going to purchase it anyways. And if you're going to do it anyways, you might as well save money and that's where experience comes in. And there's a lot of things that I'm able to do to help them save money. If you go through some of my other videos as to how to make an offer, how to negotiate, how to get to bottom price, how to buy distressed deals from developers, you can learn a lot of things. But the number one thing I want you to actually address is, look, having an expert helping you is at the end of the day, your benefit. Yeah, because you end up saving either money directly. In my case, in particular, this story, that's the truth that happened or you end up saving a ton of trouble that you or the person you're buying the property from might end up coming into based on inexperience of the agent or your own inexperience involved if you're selling your property yourself or you're thinking about buying it yourself. My personal thing that ever since I've been investing and working as an agent is I pay for expertise, right? A lot of, a lot of people know this. I don't buy and sell my own cars. I've got a friend who's an agent of mine. He's an expert at that. I don't like spending time on it. I'd rather pay him. He gets me the car. When even agents buy their own properties, we prefer to use other agents who are specialists in that area who can take care of the headache and get also sometimes let us know on what are the things that we should be watching out for. One of my mentors, he talked about something very specific six, seven years ago. This is a man who transacts deals in hundreds of millions of uh, dirhams, if not dollars. And he asked us a question, we were sitting at a round table, we were having lunch and he asked us a question and he said something very unique. He said, let me ask all of you, which one's more important in an agent? Honesty or competence? And some people said honesty is very important and some people said competence is very important. The people who said honesty is very important, they basically said, if your agent's not honest, he'll probably not be doing right by you. And the other said, we don't really care about honesty, he should be competent. And this mentor of mine, you know, his final answer to all of us was that the agent has to have both. He should or she should be extremely honest. Yeah. However, you can't let go of competence. You have to be very sure that the agent knows what he or she is doing. And the reason this is so important is because, listen, he could be the most honest person or she could be the most honest person out there. But if they're not competent, they're either going to cost you money in two ways either your time yeah time's money right time's important or direct charge on your bank balance either you get less if you're a seller or you'll pay more if you're a buyer right so if competency is missing this is something that you need to be very wary about people ask me how do we find an experienced agent listen in my opinion if you are in a position to buy a property which means you've saved $100,000 to about $500,000 minimum in Dubai, or if you're selling a property, which means that you're selling at an asset worth $100,000 to $500,000. I personally respect you because you have distinguished yourself from 98% of the world's population to become a real estate owner, right? So you have the basic common sense and the knowledge and the logic to assess 
most people by meeting them. This is how I suggest that you should identify a good agent. It's a very simple litmus test. I'm not gonna go through how many number of years he's been in the business, how many transactions he's closed, is he appearing on time, does he talk to you with the facts, does he tell you about his previous deals, does he bring you references, does he talk to you, da 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 da. You don't have to go through all the things because honestly, you can't address all of them. Here's what you do. If you're buying or selling a property, if you're buying, set up a viewing with three, ideally five agents. If you're selling, set up an interview with three, ideally five agents. The moment you go through those interviews and the way the agents bring value to the entire process, you're going to be able to judge who's the agent that you should be working with. Now, after you've assessed them, choose either two or one agent, whether to sell or whether to buy your property. Trust me, what a competent, honest agent can bring to you as in value, you might be missing out in terms of real dollar value if you end up not using somebody who's competent. I don't care if you choose to go do it yourself. That's fine because there's enough smart people who want to use somebody to help them. My personal take on this is I personally use somebody to take care of the headache and help me save money. Because when I'm buying and selling cars, I need somebody else who I can trust with and who has more knowledge about cars. My knowledge about cars is like this much, by the way. Yeah, who has more knowledge about cars can look at a car instantly and tell me, look, Paul, is it a good deal or it's not a good deal, right? That's how I operate. My suggestion to you is you should really think about doing the same. If you've got questions, you want to talk to, some, talk to an expert, hit me up below. My details are there. WhatsApp me, email me, uh, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. I'd love you to do that. I'd really appreciate it. My subscriber levels are going up. I appreciate the comments that you give. If you've got questions, ask me directly. I'll either answer in the comments section below or I will come back to you and give you a complete new video with your own question. I'll even mention you by name. Talk to you soon.